My name is Dr. Sean and welcome to the first episode of my new series called Malaysia vs. the World. I will be pitching and comparing local brands against famous brands from other countries such as Korea, Japan, Europe, etc. etc. If they can create such viral products, so why can't we as Malaysians do it too, right? So this video is going to be broken down into two parts, where the first part will be me introducing the two contenders and talking a bit about their products and company and why I chose them. And the second video is going to be the results after one month of testing and my final thoughts on them. So make sure you smash the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so YouTube will alert you when it's out. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice my face once again for the glory of science. So basically, I'm going to be applying one product on one side of my face and another on the other side for one whole month. This way, the results can be seen in real time and it will be impossible for me to rig the results with filters, Photoshop or lighting or whatever, right? Now, I've always had trouble recommending moisturizers because most of the time, moisturizers are judged on how they feel rather than the actual contents or ingredients. So I thought for the very first episode of the new series, I'm going to focus on two moisturizers that has recently caught my attention. So without further ado, please let me introduce the two contenders for the very first ever Malaysia vs. the world. So first up, we have the 7 Beauty Fantasy Moisturizer. Now before I talk about this product at all, let me first talk a bit about their company. Uh, this is a Malaysian brand spearheaded by Jennifer Fo, who was crowned the first runner-up of the Miss Chinese Cosmos International 2011. Uh, to my knowledge, she has really sensitive skin and always tests her product on herself first for at least a year before releasing it to the public. When I first heard about the company that was about a year ago, it really reminded me of how Lia Yu of Crave Beauty started. So Seven Beauty, I really have high hopes for you guys, yeah? Anyway, on to their product. The Fantasy Moisturizer prides itself with a ton of plant-based ingredients which makes it perfect for those who are looking for a more natural option. No parabens, no fragrance, no alcohol, non pore clogging. It is meant to deliver deep, soothing moisturization to the skin, leaving it soft to touch, supple, and smooth. Now, it comes in this 60ml solid feeling tub, cream-like consistency. It doesn't really have any scent to it, absorbs really easily, and doesn't feel like it leaves a layer of oily or greasy feeling once it's absorbed. Now, I think the one thing that I really like is that it leaves a really nice cooling sensation after you apply it. One of the things I've noticed about Seven Beauty products because I've tried their others is like the serum as well as the face mask. Okay, somehow their products, even let's say you don't keep it in the fridge, and when you apply it, it still feels as cold as you have you know kept it in the fridge overnight or whatnot. It is a cold sensation that is hard for me to describe. So that alone is a huge plus for me. So key ingredients include glycerin, which is one of my favorite ingredients to hydrate the skin aloe vera extract, which is in my opinion the best soothing agent, albizia julibrisin flower extract, which is a potent antioxidant, anti-irritant, and a soothing effect. Gastrodia illata root extractis is another antioxidant and is mainly used in traditional Chinese medicine to treat atopic dermatitis and eczema. Saposhnikovia divaricata root extract has antibacterial properties, so it will stop bacteria like P. acne from having a picnic on your face. Astragalus membranosus root extract is again used widely in traditional Chinese medicine as an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent. Studies in China have also shown that it increased hydration and smoothness of the skin. Now, Calendula officinalis flower extract contains flavonoids that gives it an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant property. Japanese honeysuckle flower extract is known in the traditional Chinese medicine world as an anti-inflammatory and soothing ingredient. Now, from what I can see, which I may be wrong, for all I know, this product was created with the herbology of traditional Chinese medication as its main inspiration. The fact that this product was created surrounding plant-based options rather than synthetically created compounds, I feel like it's a really good option for those who have dry, sensitive skin. So now, for its contender, please allow me to introduce the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream. Now, Skin1004 is a Korean brand that has been around since 2012 and recently their products have been making waves in the skincare community. Their skincare products mainly revolve around Centella Asiatica, which is harvested from Madagascar. The reason I chose this was because, like the Fantasy Moisturizer, it focuses on moisturization, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant properties and suitability for those who have sensitive skin as its main selling point. It is alcohol-free fragrance-free, essential oil-free, and boasts that it excludes 26 allergy ingredients and 20 caution ingredients listed by the MFDS. Awesome choice for those who have sensitive skin. Now it comes in this 75ml tube, has a gel-like consistency. I can't really smell anything at all. It's easily absorbed, but it sort of has a slight stickiness to it once you apply it. It does also have a cooling effect, but definitely not as much as the 7 Beauty Moisturizer. So what about the key ingredients? 
Key ingredients include 72% Santella extract, which is traditionally used to improve small wounds, burns, and scratches. It is a fantastic antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, especially for those who suffer from eczema. Now, it also contains glycerin as one of their main hydrators like the Fantasy Moisturizer. The ginger extract, which is a potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, which is also used to increase blood circulation and have a toning effect. Now, the next two ingredients are ingredients that I really, really like. The first up is beta-glucan, which is a big molecule composing of smaller sugar molecules. It provides intensive skin repairing and wound healing, mild antioxidant, great skin soothing, and moisturizer. A study done has shown that despite beta-glucan being a big molecule, the smaller fractions of sugar molecules can penetrate into the middle layer of the skin, otherwise known as the dermis, where wrinkles form. Now, the second ingredient is ceramides. Ceramides are a waxy lipid that can be found naturally in the outer layer of your skin. It's basically the goopy stuff in between your skin cells which you can't really see with the naked eye. Now, ceramides has an extremely, extremely important role in keeping the skin barrier healthy and hydrated because it's sort of like a waterproof layer that stops evaporation of water in our skin. So who is this for? All skin types suitable, especially for those with sensitive skin. So guys, there you have it. The 7 Beauty Fantasy Moisturizer versus the Skin1004 Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream. Who is going to come out on top or is it going to be a tie? I may sound a little bit biased, but just by testing it on my hand alone, I personally think the 7 Beauty is the one that's going to come out on top. But who knows? Let's see after a month which side of my face is better. You guys can be the judge. So stay tuned if you want to see the results in a month and also my final thoughts about these two products. Click on the subscribe button down below and also the notification bell so you don't miss it. Oh, before I go, uh, let me get, just show you guys what my current skin condition is like. Ooh, I didn't think this through. I, I hope the camera can focus on me. Front. And then on the side. I think I'll include my current personal routine down below as a control reference as well. Anyway, I'm super excited for the next part. Take care, stay safe, and see you in the next video.